It's that Reyes family. We post daily vlogs that are fun, positive, and that inspire because we believe that family is everything. Join us on this journey. Yo, 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 fam. What's up? It is that Reyes family with Ask That Reyes Family, where every single week we take your questions and answer them. We don't have a vlog on Sundays, but basically we, we have a lot of questions, some deep questions, uh, crazy. some crazy questions. <laughs> um, and I uh, want to make sure, you know, just to answer several of them in a rapid fire fashion to get your guys' questions answered. So we want to first off say thank you so much for all your questions. Yes. If you want your question answered next time, make sure to put the hashtag question below and comment. Or I always ask the question on Snapchat. If you're following us, make sure. Links in the description. So uh, we always ask, like, hey, you know, what questions do you guys have? So we are going to jump right into the first question. The first question, and I didn't even prepare, Sarah, the order of these questions. We're just going to kind of roll. Uh, the first question is from Carmen Galvan. Thank you so much for the question, Carmen. She asks, how do you handle disagreements in your marriage Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, great question, Carmen. I'll want to let you go first. You handle them one disagreement at a time. The best advice Oof, I could give you good. guys is to not bring up a past fight or something you argue about into the current one you're in. I used to do that a lot. But just deal with the disagreement you're going through at the moment. If it gets too hot and heated, walk away and give it some time to cool down and so you can think through your words before you spit them out and you regret what you say. I think like having the emotional intelligence in your brain to go, you're going to be married in five years. Uh, don't say anything that you're going to regret. That's mm -hmm. hurtful. That's toxic. Uh, there's constructive criticism uh, or, or disagreements and, and, and arguing. But then there's destructive criticism Just in mean. arguing. So so I would suggest, again, I love how she says, don't bring up the past ones. Focus on the present ones and work together as a team. One that I saw a few different, worded a few different ways, had a little bit to do with this. But this one's from Jessica Gomez. And she said, have you guys ever fought so bad that you both thought it could be over? Hmm. You can go first. So... When we went, I, we call it the apartment. It was like our first place. <laughs> and I wouldn't say we we argued a lot. We just didn't know how to communicate. It wasn't toxic. There's a big difference between just not understanding each other, which we didn't. Uh, and it, But it wasn't toxic. And I will tell you, there were times where, like, I don't know. From a young age, my grandma told me, like, you got to make it work. And you got to, like, fight strong and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And for me, I always knew I wanted to, but it's like, dude, how in the heck are we going to make this work uh, when we just can't see eye to eye? And so um, definitely crossed our mind, uh, not like for sure, but just like, is this the alternative? Um, so like we've told you guys before, we're not like this perfect marriage, but we've come a long way and I feel really good about where things are at right now over the last several years. Um, but what do you think? I think I totally did a few times in those early stages and my main thing was my parents have a really good relationship so I never saw my parents argue growing mm. up and I didn't know until after I finally had the guts to talk to my mom yeah. about marriage when I was like because we would argue and I would be like oh my gosh it's not gonna work because I wasn't used to that you never saw intense, your parents. yeah I never saw yeah. my parents so it wasn't used to intense arguing and so when it's happening to us I was like oh my goodness so I finally got the guts to like not tell my mom details because I don't think parents should know details of arguments. But I just said, what did you guys do? And she's like, we argued. We just never argued in front of the kids, like in front of me and my siblings, yeah. which was good advice to take to, into now parenthood. But yes, everybody, every even awesome couples argue, and we totally did. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is not going to work out. But we finally figured out how to argue, and we're, we're good. All right, this question is from Vanessa. We saw you always comment. We really appreciate you. So I know that name. Um, what is the biggest accomplishment that you uh, accomplish? I said a bad word. Uh, what is the biggest accomplishment uh, that you and Sarah want to get done? Uh, that you want to get done this year? This is for you and Sarah. Love you guys. Thanks, Vanessa. Um, do you want to go first? I think the biggest one we have. We have a. Uh, some debt that we were just not smart about in our early years of marriage yeah. and over the years you know we've tried to pay it off and it just you know interest accumulates and it gets yeah. harder but our biggest goal this year is to really be very smart with our money yeah. and pay off 
that debt so that when I'm done with school, we're ready for some other future plans, you know, to buy a house and yeah. figure out what we're going to do with um, the next 10 years of our marriage. But just really this year is to focus. I think that's kind of our common goal is to like pay down that debt significantly the best that we can. Yeah. One of my goals, and I'm working on it now, if you've been watching the vlog over the last week, uh, Benjamin TV helping me out a ton. My goal is to get under 300 pounds in 20 uh, 16 that's one of my big big goals and then my next real big goal is to really connect with you guys even more uh, we want to inspire people with qu people asking us questions about marriage like mm -hmm. who in the heck are we like people are asking us about marriage advice and relationship advice and different advice and things like that and so we take this serious and we like want to reach and connect with even more of you guys so which is sorry to cut you off yeah, yeah which is why we decided to one day a week just sit yeah. down and respond to your comments because i know a lot of times we don't type them out alejandro's really good at like doing it at the end of the vlog and you know answering yeah. a comment or two from you guys he calls them like your shout outs but just to really focus on you guys because you know we do it for the memories for ourselves but you guys are here watching too so you guys are important yeah thanks vanessa this question is from Amber Zapata. She says, What's how up, does Amber? being on YouTube change your relationship and how does it change your kids? Um, I said this to my parents maybe a year after we started vlogging, but I really feel like it brought us closer together because this is a family vlog. It's not just me, not just him, yeah. with our own personal interests. Like, we are vlogging every day together. I mean, we've missed a few days in the last couple, three years or whatever, yeah. but... We, like, you You can't really be arguing because you have to finish the vlog together. Like, you're on a camera. So we have to, like, get through disagreements quicker and, like, get over things. And then I, I think it really just brought us together. And for our kids, they really love looking back on their yeah. birthday parties. And I even tonight, Bella was like, let's see this old video. Like, when I was little. And it was only three years ago. But she was tiny and she changed. So I don't think it's changed our kids. But I think they really appreciate having that video to look back on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so one thing, um, one thing I love that Sarah, uh, Sarah's parents have done. One thing that they've done uh, as the kids uh, are all getting married, uh, they found something common that they love to do together, which is like go on mission trips. Mm -hmm. And it's made me think think about it over the last couple of years that they've done that. And you know, I think Sarah and I are completely different in most areas, uh, <laughs> but we think the same in the most core values of who we are. Uh, but we're so different in some, like Call of Duty. She would never play video games. Um, I'm a city boy. She's a country girl, and so I like adventures. We, he likes being at home. Yeah, I like chilling um, and hanging out with friends. And so, um, so I would say that it's definitely this is the thing that we do together. The thing that the common thing that we think about, and you know, man, you know, we talk about you guys, and so it's like that common thing. Um, that we do together that brings us so much closer. So I would say it's enhanced mm -hmm. and leveled up our marriage, our relationship, and uh, I just love that love love that the girls are growing. They're speaking, they're communicating, their feelings, and so I think this vlog is going to help them immensely as well. Sure, yeah. All right, this next one comes from Go Grizz. What's up, Go Grizz? You're like an early early homie. Um, this question, many of you have asked it. Um, you know, where am I at uh, with the whole Shea Carl 100 mile challenge? We're still working on it, still want to make it happen. And I think at some point in 2016, we will make it happen where Shea and I connect. Uh, Sarah's really busy with school. I'm really busy. And I know Shay's super busy. So yeah. we're going to make it happen. Like, I don't stress about that stuff. It's going to happen at the right time. And so I'm just looking forward to uh, to it. All right, so here's a question from Snapchats from I Malolo. It's I, I Malolo. I think that's the <laughs> the name. Um, but uh, they asked the question: Would you move back to California? Also got another question on YouTube about: Is it hard being away from your family? And so um, this is something that Sarah and I every now and then will think about: Like, where are we going to be when she's done? Keep in mind, in a year and a half, things are going to change for our family. She's going to be a nurse, and you know. It's just going to be so much different. Yeah. So the opportunity is like, do you stay here in Seattle? We're probably going to stay here for a few years because she's got to get some experience under her belt as a nurse. Okay. I got a great job. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's like after that, do you go back to California where I miss my family. I miss my best friends are over there. 
her best friends over there? Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to move to Eastern Washington where her family's from where we can get more bang for our buck in a house if we wanted to buy a house? Yes. Um, <laughs> And then, or do you stay in Seattle? I don't know, but I just know that our lives, like we want to have the lifestyle where if we are in California or wherever we're at in, in Eastern Washington, where her family's from, that we're able to like once or every couple months be able to go, excuse me, <laughs> to be able to go see our friends and family. And so it's more about the lifestyle as opposed to like, do you, want you know, to live in California? Do exactly. Because I can live in California with my best friends, be super busy for work and never see them. I were more interested in creating a lifestyle that's fun, uh, and, and more more time freedom. So great questions. It's something we definitely think about a lot. The future is up in the air for us, for real. But for now, we will be on the, in the Pacific Northwest for quite a few more years, just to figure out life a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag PNW. That's, PNW. What that's what everybody hashtags Seattle, are. Northwest corner of the state. Yeah. Nor wait, Northwest. Yes. Northwest is it right? Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, did I just made a fool of myself right now. So this last one came from Snapchat. This is from Ruby from Los Angeles. Thanks, Ruby. Just a question. How are you able to pay for college? Like, How do you uh, make it affordable for you guys? And so for us, when we moved here, I became, uh, um, I worked on a marketing team for the university. And so my wife, yeah, schooling, she got like a massive, massive, massive discount. So there are a lot of different things you could do. You know, what the route that we took was I actually worked for the university. And so... There's also some other things like financial yeah, aid or like there's I do financial aid every year the FAFSA I think I'm pretty sure it's not just in Washington it's everywhere, it's everywhere yeah. yeah it's a federal government mm -hmm. aid like they go off based off of your income and um, you get like a percentage of student loans it's a really huge and really yeah. um, brain hurting process but yeah. you have to do it because you are will be surprised like I got my scholarship letter this year and I was like crying when I called Alejandro because. Yeah. He did work at the university, but then he switched jobs, so he was no longer working at the university, so that um, discount yeah. was gone. And so we were praying that like something would happen, and God totally came through, and yeah. I not only got like the financial aid from um, FAFSA, but I also got some incredible scholarships from the university. And the one, number one thing is, you guys, try to get good grades, because you will get mm. scholarships from the school. I mean, at least from our, but I'm pretty sure it's everywhere. Because of you being a good student, they're going to yeah. reward you for doing that. So I wasn't the best student 4.0, not by any means, but I tried really hard, and they That's reward good. you for success. So um, this semester, or this school year, I don't, I'm not going to take very much out of student loan at all so that's really exciting for our future just try really hard to work on that fast yeah. stuff if your husband can't work at the university um, there's a lot of yeah, scholarships just, too just, like yeah. for, literally like no joke it's like for being left-handed <laughs> or for being hispanic or uh, a minority yeah, seriously anything. like there's so many different ways so just ask around i encourage you to ask around look on the internet for different scholars there's things online where you can apply to like different scholarships so. it takes work it's not easy and it really it makes you frustrated and your brain hurts at the end but it is so worth it when you don't have to worry about dollars every yeah. single day just to get through college also don't buy all the books that the teachers suggest mm, i buy like half one. of the books that are on the list because number one i'm not going to read them all i don't have time to do that and two like you can get by with the internet and with just having one core book for the class. So just make sure I don't order my books even through a week after school starts just so I can like gauge what I'm actually going to need at the time yeah. versus going and spending like $800 the first semester where I thought, oh, I need all the books. You don't need And a lot that. of people have hooked you up the work that went to school yeah. the year before. Make so. friends. Make yep. friends with other uh, people in your school. And I've literally gotten books handed to me because the, yep. they, somebody gave that to them. So I'm going to pass it on to the next person. Um, so yeah, make friends and don't buy all the books. That's awesome. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for uh, asking the questions. You keep asking them. We'll keep answering them. Uh, hashtag ask that Reyes family. Love you guys so much. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, and always remember, with a little bit of you, a little, little bit of us, we yeah. are changing the world. Peace. It's cute, the dress. What's cute, Sadie? This. That's the same dress. But you ha you have that print and dress. You have that dress. Oh my gosh, mommy can't talk. You, I has have the print in my dress. The same one. You like it? We're just looking around.